So we've been talking about the five different stages of SMS marketing. Everybody in your audience is going to be in one of five different stages of mental awareness. So what are those stages? Hi there, my name is Graham Lewis. I run a coaching program called the SMS Hero Program, where you become your own hero in your own marketing of your own business. And here's why you need to subdivide your marketing messages into different categories targeted at people who are in different stages of mindset. So if you take someone who's unaware of your product or service, and that's the group that we're going to focus on in this video, we're going to talk about talk, messaging your customers who are unaware of your service. People who are not aware of your service are totally wrapped up in their own own world. I think it was Gary Halbert who said people couldn't be bothered with what you're offering them. They're all really concentrated on their own issues and problems that they're trying to solve. And they're not interested in you trying to help them solve their problems. They're trying to solve their issues that they're facing. The purpose of your message that you want your customer to see is to grab their attention. You want to catch their eyeball and you want to make sure that they're going to be reading your full message. The advantage that SMS offers you over that and in addition to that of email, I'm not saying you mustn't use email. You continue to use email. Keep using email lists and keep messaging your customers on email but add to it SMS. The advantage of doing this is that 98% of SMS messages are read, whereas only 20% of email messages are read, and a good 50% are sent to the trash can straight away. The consequences of you not using SMS are likely to be you getting frustrated with your business because you're putting in so much work and so much effort to try and achieve break even or just pass break even and you're just not making it. The fact is if you are making sales already, you only have to make a few minor adjustments in your business to make an exponential effect on the profit in your business. The difference between using SMS to market to your customers and not using it to market to your customers is being so frustrated that you could be just about to give up on your business and close shop. Or you could be in a position where you've closed your month in costs out early in the month, maybe in the second or third week of the month, you've hit your what's called the profit day in business. Up until that day in the, in the month, you're just working to pay costs. After that day in the month, everything's being written straight to your profit line. If you want to stop being at a disadvantage in your sales mechanism, or your sales process, you need to use SMS because it is so effective in getting people to read the message. It's the one messaging channel that people still read. 98% of people will read their SMS messages versus the 20% that we said earlier, open their email messages. This is really critical to apply in your business because if you're not doing it, you're basically pushing 68% of potential sales off the table. Now, who wants to do that? If you're going to all this effort of constructing your sales pipeline, your sales funnel, getting the customers interested, starting to talk to people, should you just want more people to go through your checkout at the end of your sales process? You're putting in the same amount of effort. All you have to do is to add SMS. So in crafting your message in your SMS, you need to use a headline that's going to boldly state the problem that your potential customers got and then crystallize that into a specific need that he has. This group of customers, you need to address their pain point immediately in your headline. Let's take an example. 
of a person who's got a serious back problem. So that's something many people in their 40s, 50s and later life will experience as they've been sitting still at a desk for many years. The lower back has got serious issues from not being mobile enough. Core strength has been lost. So someone who's sitting there, watching their computer screen, looking at your messaging come across their timeline or across their SMS channel that they have on their phone, and they see an answer that says, you can solve their back pain. That is the message they're going to open up. Now, getting them to, to read the message is a whole craft on its own of using the right headline structure, which we'll get to in a later part of the videos that I put out. But for now, you just need to know that in addressing your customers who aren't aware of what you offer yet, you know they've got a specific problem that you want to help them with. And it's that problem that your service needs to solve. It's no use sending them messages for just general stuff you're going to sell. You need to pick a problem the customer has and solve that. And they will be offering you their money to take that pain away. Find customers who've got a problem and solve that problem. So that's the first thing. With cold traffic, you lead in your SMS message headline title that you're going to use like a hammer hitting a nail. You need to hit bang on the nail. You need to address that problem in the customer's pain points that he has. So your headline has to talk only about that, nothing else. Thanks for watching. I hope you picked up some useful information. Don't be shy to comment below in the video. Hit the like button and share the video if you like. I'd really appreciate it if you'll do that. And if you're interested to learn about the SMS Hero Coaching Program where I take you through step by step, I literally handhold you every step of the way so that you can build your message, you can get your SMS campaign built, and then I give you a system that'll actually let you run it on the back end seamlessly. You can just DM me for a quick call and I'll help you see if you're the right fit for the coaching program. So thank you for watching.